Greetings and welcome to the World Numismatic News as I take a quick look at some of the more prominent, interesting and valuable repunched mintmark varieties that can be found in the Roosevelt Dime series. In this, your top 10 Roosevelt Dime repunched mintmark varieties. Let's kick things off in the number 10 position with the 1952 S over S repunched mintmark variety. Given the fact that 1952 saw the highest mintage figure for dimes from San Francisco, it's not at all all surprising that this variety managed to come about. One of the more dramatic examples of a repunched mint mark for the series as a whole. The final mint mark is placed towards the southwest of the initial S, with the top curve of the S still visible towards the northwest and the lower tail of the first impression seen just above the mint mark. During 2013, a coin like this was sold at auction in a PCGS slab with a grade of MS66 for $182. And then, moving along swiftly towards the number 9 position, we discover the 1953 D over horizontal D dime. A new record high mintage from the Denver Mint in 1953 ensured that several varieties resulted from that date as well. One of the most desirable repunched mint marks is the D over horizontal D variety where the initial mint mark was inadvertently punched on its side necessitating the second striking to correct the orientation of the D. The coin is best identified by what would have been the lowest serif of the initial D peeking out towards the top of the D at the right, in the shape of a little horn. In 2013, an MS64 graded coin with full bands from PCGS was sold at auction for $302. Arriving at number 8, we find it yields a 1960 D over D variety. Yet another high mintage date, but one in which far fewer varieties were produced when compared to the dates already mentioned here. Examining the mint mark in this case will reveal vertical lines inside the cavity of the D, as the position of the straight bar of the initial D. This paired with a small spike that protrudes from the bottom right of the D as well. Connecting these lines, one can easily imagine the position of the initial mint mark and see that it would have been simply far too close to the base of the torch. In 2017, a coin in a PCGS slab with a grade of MS66 was sold at auction for $239. The seventh position plays host to the 1964 D over D Roosevelt dime. Now, the 1964 Denver issue has been called a variety collector's dream, as there are at least 10 different repunched mint marks to go along with this massive mintage. For the purposes of this video, I'll take a look at the two most popular though. The first shows the remnant of the initial impression towards the northeast of of the final mint mark as indicated here. Then there is also a repunched mint mark which is almost unbelievable when considering the placement of the initial striking, the only remaining traces of which are now seen directly next to the base of the torch towards its left. In 2013, a PCGS graded example of the first type mentioned here at a grade of MS66 was sold at auction for $404. The coin that occupies the number 6 position is an interesting example. The 1946S is simultaneously a repunched mint mark and a double die variety at the same time. For this example, the mint mark was repunched multiple times, according to some sources, as many as four times in fact, all towards the south of the initial impression where the final S is seen. Remnants of the other punchings can be spotted behind and to the north of the final mint mark. 
during 2014 at an auction held in Long Beach, California. A coin like this in a PCGS slab with a grade of MS67 with full bands details was sold for $544. And then reaching the halfway point, there is the 1947 S over S variety. One of a number of similar varieties for this date. In this coin, the initial mint mark was punched with a slight clockwise orientation, with the final S positioned correctly over top. As a result, the top and the bottom serifs of this trumpet tailed S are effectively doubled, with the original impression still peeking out at opposite ends of the mint mark. In 2014, a 1947 S over S coin in a PCGS slab with a grade of MS66 with full bands details was sold at auction for $511.50. From there, the fourth slot is kept by the 1959 dime from the Denver Mint. 1959 represents an upturn for the US economy and as a result, higher mintage figures are again seen during this year. The natural result is that the re-emergence of a few very attractive varieties are seen again. And this 1959 D over D coin sees the mint mark punch directly towards the south of the initial impression, which can very clearly still be seen almost in its entirety. Another D over D repunchment mark also exists for this date where the initial D was actually punched upside down. Now, for this variety, the inverted D, or more specifically, the serif of the initial D can be seen towards the lower curve of the mint mark. In 2013, the first of these two varieties was sold in a PCGS holder at a grade of MS66 with full bands details for $836. Third place is held by the 1950 S over inverted S repunched mint mark coin. Now, this coin was in previous years held to be an over mint mark coin in the form of an S over D variety instead. However, closer scrutiny will reveal that the initial impression was that of an inverted S instead, with the straight bar as seen towards the left which was believed to belong to a D, is in fact the upper serif of an upside down S instead. During 2016, a prime example of this variety at a grade of MS67 plus from PCGS was sold at auction for $646. The only proof coin on this list is positioned as the proverbial runner-up in the second position. It's an interesting case, not only because repunched mint marks are so rare on proof coins to begin with, but also because of the positioning of the punchings. The mint mark appears to have been punched slightly towards the southeast. Although the two images are so close together that it becomes difficult to truly discern which may have come first. What there is no doubt about though is that in 2016 a PCGS graded coin at a grade of proof 69 deep cameo was sold at auction for $881. The top slot is again a variety from 1947. This time, however, it is not the S over S coin listed before, but rather one of the two over mint mark varieties known for the date. This coin depicted here is the S over D coin with the sans serif S. While I should note that a similar variety is also known for the trumpet tailed S, although that variety displays slightly different to this one. In this example, you can see the straight bar of the initial D mark towards the lower left opening of the S, and even remnants of the curve of the D towards the right curve of the S in some examples, but not all, suggesting that strike quality and die state may have an impact on this particular 
particular aspect. In 2014, a coin of this variety was sold at auction in a PCGS slab with a grade of MS67 for $646. Let me know if you've ever come across any interesting repunched mint mark dimes in the comment section below. And be sure to have a look at the rest of our top 10 videos as well, including top 10 Lincoln Penny double die varieties and Roosevelt dime double dies as well. Subscribe to WNN and activate notifications with the bell icon as well. For the world numismatic news, I am Numisman saying thank you for watching, keep collecting and have a great day.